Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna pull a Twin Flame reading today. We all get confused about love, let's be honest. Is this a cycle of bad luck or is the wheel turning in our favor? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you try this amazing service called Keen, you're going to absolutely love it. I got this reading using today's sponsor, Keen. Keen connects you with talented tarot readers and also astrologers. And if you want to get a reading on Keen like I did, it's super easy to start. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers who are online right now. These readers each have very unique specialties designed to provide a deeper understanding of your unique situation. Want to learn more about your love life? Is he or she cheating on you? Do they love you? Keen has a reader ready to provide you clarity and insight. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with via phone call or text chat. And as a new customer on Keen, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is up to $99 in savings. Go to trykeen.com slash Kimberkiss. Click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. I promise you, you're going to fall in love with their service as much as I have. Two cards, please. Okay. So I wanted two overall messages to start this Twin Flame reading with. We have Get Grounded. This says empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Super important right now. Star Brothers coming through. This is Horus Energy. This is protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Okay, so your person is from the stars. You receive divine connection through the trees, the flowers, the ground, the roots, the sky, the sun, the solar star of your chakra connecting with the sun, star, the stars above, the energies below, the core of the earth, mother earth, the, the galactics here. So this is the overtone of the reading, and this is what they want you to do is to get grounded, connect with the earth and mother nature. So there's a lot of ET messages, aliens, light beam messages coming through. Okay. Ace of Ariel, it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support coming in and a change in your job or a promotion. This could be pertaining to your person as well. There's luck on its way, okay? So if you've been feeling like hopeless within this dynamic or situation, you no longer need to feel that way knowing that this is coming in for you. Don't discount the magic. We have Dolphin Baby Shine Your Light. I'm going to shuffle these. And I'm going to pull one specific card to read from this book. Is the card stepping stones stepping stones this is take the next step let go of the old paradigm this is the card they want me to read to you this is the Lemurian star child oracle this is a very like Lemurian star CD reading um, this is the journey 107, so it's on an infinite number. 107 adds to 8, which is infinity on its side. And stepping stones is number 6, which is the 33, the highest level of mastery of consciousness. 
It's also 127 page, which adds to a 10. And let's see what's on here and in here for you. This will be your guidance, okay? Other keywords are evolutionary leaps and know you are the cre creator. So this is like a very strong responsibility. And this is going to help within the evolution of your consciousness towards your twin flame and anything else that you're trying to manifest right now or will manifest, okay? I don't even want to say trying to have manifested, <laughs> will manifest, okay? The stepping stones lead us from one insight to the next in evolutionary leaps, jumping between levels of expansion, joy, and heart opening. They show us what we need to leave behind, all that we've learned to be open to something new, and then to integrate and synthesize all the different steps that we've taken. Can you be guided by vortices of light by following your joy? Come back to this deck to um, read the stepping stones part. And look what I opened my deck to. Unicorn. Unicorn purity. You are pure. Open spiritual eyes. And family of light. Science guidance innate and ancient wisdom. Guys, I have chills. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Also, I want to mention on the Lemurian Star Child Oracle by Leon Carpenter and Michael Kroon, 88 cards, Lionsgate, 8-8. Eight, eight. See it? Okay, so we have the stepping stones. Take the next step. Let go of the old paradigm. Other keywords are evolutionary leaps. Know you are the creator. The stepping stones lead us from one insight into the next in evol evolutionary leaps, jumping between levels of expansion, joy, and heart opening. They show us what we need to leave behind, all that we've learned to be open to something new, and then to integrate and synthesize all the different steps that we've taken. Can you be guided by vortices of light by following your joy? You are invited to let go of everything and take a leap to the next place. Perhaps it is a new relationship, changing location, or letting go of old emotions. This card encourages you to put down old baggage and to go to the next stepping stone to take a leap of faith. Drawing this card means that you are ready for the next step, which is a shift in paradigms. All the skills that you have mastered so far have helped you greatly on your path, but to go further, you need to open up to something new. Don't hold on to past knowledge because it will keep you stuck. Does the stepping stone in front of you look slippery? Not like a good foundation? This is because it is outside of what is known or comfortable for you. The stones invite you to jump, and also the giants who are their creators now start to speak to you. The giants tell you how they can mold the stones as if they were dough and put them in the right places. In this way, they have created paths of light across the earth, which many see as natural formations. When you look closer at these formations, you can see stepping stones, bridges and shelters and paths that lead to vortices of light. Your stepping stones lead you across a river and at the other side, a dragon of light. This is just like bridge to Terabithia. So um, if you're watching this now, please go watch my Lyran Starseed reading. It's the one with uh, Jesus on the thumbnail and the red mermaid tail and the bottle of wine or the wine cup the red rose, the one with the Tartaria building in the background. It's all about the Bridge to Terabithia movie. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Also pinned in the comments. I highly recommend you watch it after this reading, okay? You'll get why when we're done here. Your stepping stones lead you across the river and at the other side, a dragon of light is waiting for you. Yes, following the stepping stones leads to elevation and ascension to a new paradigm of light that wasn't available on the ground floor. The dragon, this is crazy because it's like, just like the dream I just had. The dragon shows you higher octaves of light, thinner atmospheres from which you can oversee those who are earthbound. This loving dragon is light family from Lemuria who tells you about all the different stepping stones of humanity. For every setback, there has also been a great expansion, but on the new earth, these setbacks are no longer needed. You are now stepping into your divine birthright to flourish, to manifest joy and abundance. And in this new vibration, going to the next stepping stone is easy because your family of light is leading you from one to the next. The giants hold your hand and take you on their shoulders at times when you need some support. The dragons of light take you to a higher altitude where you oversee new possibilities. Allow this continuous evolution to be your direction, knowing that you are co-creating the new earth 
able to easily go from one stepping stone to the next. With each step that you take, you create the new stepping stone for the new earth, not just for yourself, but for generations to come. The affirmation you could say is each footstep into the new paradigm is met with glowing flowers, cheering crystals, and the loving smiles of light family. Wow. I love that. Um, I also wanted to mention that I am offering memberships at this time. is something that I just recently um, opened up as accessible to my YouTube. So if you're wanting um, to join members, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff that's included in those. So I definitely recommend it.